Federal investigators tonight are focusing on a Florida Postal Processing and Distribution Center just north of Miami. And tonight, the FBI is treating this as an act of domestic terrorism. A nationwide manhunt for a possible serial bomber after at least 10 explosive devices were discovered in New York City, Washington, Maryland, Delaware, Florida, and California. Actor Robert De Niro, who spoke out publicly against Trump at the Tony Awards this year, and former Vice President Joe Biden, the latest intended targets. Each package similar to the next, delivered in padded manila envelopes with bubble wrap, six American flag forever stamps, and a return label for Florida Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz. According to the FBI, the explosives are considered unstable, rudimentary, with no signs of triggering mechanisms. The NYPD and the FBI, we're, we're taking this seriously. We are treating them as, uh, as, as live devices. But none actually exploded. I think they were made to be found, and again, just to deliver the message of fear and terror. According to a law enforcement source, the devices are made with PVC pipe containing explosive material, believed to be a pyrotechnic substance, fireworks, and packed with shrapnel. All easily available materials and a design easily found online. And there's nothing better for an investigator to get actual intact components. They're going to trace back the piping that was used. They're going to trace back the wiring, the batteries. One day after calling for unity and condemning the attacks, President Trump is again lashing out at news organizations, tweeting, A very big part of the anger we see today in our society is caused by the purposely false and inaccurate reporting of the mainstream media. But the president made no mention of his own divisive comments. This should not be a partisan issue. Americans are being targeted. Some lawmakers now saying enough is enough. We have to be equal in how we denounce this. There's no place for this, any kind of violent act in our American politics. It would be nice if the president stayed on messaging, on uniting the country, stop blaming the media, and bringing this country together. Tonight, a package that was discovered at a West Los Angeles building that houses one of Senator Dianne Feinstein's state offices turned out to be a false alarm. LAPD says an employee called police out, an abund out of an abundance of caution Officers gave the all clear after they determined it was a CD inside the envelope. I'll send it back to you.